Congratulations to everyone who managed to submit a film for the contest. We had a ton of amazing submissions and we were blown away by how much time and love was poured into every film. Picking the winners was a major challenge and there are so many great films we wish we could feature. Even if your film doesn't win a prize today, we hope you can feel proud of everything you've accomplished. Just finishing a film on such a short deadline is something to be truly proud of. But this whole thing wouldn't have been possible without our amazing sponsors. We were so fortunate to have their support in putting together the incredible prize pool for the contest, and we're so excited to be able to celebrate and reward a handful of the talented creators out there. Some categories feature an overlap in prizes, so picking the right films for the category were often really close decisions. But without further ado, here are the winners. We had a handful of shorts with great choreography, but this was the standout for us. Despite the sound and VFX being incomplete, we can see just how much work was put into choreographing the combat, and how well the editing and cinematography aided the final flow of the sequence. We'd really love to see this one finished. What <laughs> So many of the top films had a really solid and competent sound mix, making it really hard to pick a winner. But one thing that really stood out to us about this film was the music. It was beautifully composed and carried a lot of emotional resonance for us. We also appreciated the fact that a lot of, if not all of the elements, sounded original rather than sourcing sounds from Battlefront or Fallen Order. Overall, the sound mix was well-balanced, high-quality, and clean, resulting in a pleasant listening experience. Once again, a lot of the top films had really solid editing. But what stood out for us about Trooper was the fact that they were able to tell a fully self-contained story in only a minute and a half without anything feeling rushed. It had a fun, snappy pace and kept us engaged the whole way through.
them escape! They won't get past us! We were extremely impressed by the render quality in this film. The planet below looked incredible, the models had such high detail, and the shot of the ships being sliced in half was our most memorable VFX moment from all of the films. The fella in the back said it's on him. I'm going to assume you know who I am, is that correct? I know who you are. As do I know of you, Mr... Uh, what was your name? Jax. Ah, yes, Mr. Jax, the bounty hunter. Jedi's providence is what they call me. What they call me does make me sound quite terrifying, doesn't it? If you're Jedi. <laughs> <clears throat> What stood out to us about Deadlock was the lighting. Not only did it aid the overall emotion of the scene, but it also helped bring out the natural imperfections of the Lego, making it feel grounded and realistic. We also loved how the shallow depth of field highlighted the miniature feel and how purposefully the shots were composed. And overall, it had a great visual palette, making it super memorable for us.自分の姿をよく見てみろ。ただの砂漠の鼠だ。俺が乗り越えてきたことを見ろ。俺はお前を殺すために来た。だがお前をここに残そうがもっと雑だな。負けねえが。命を奪ったり。支配したり。他人から
Jedi, why don't you just ask another master? There are no more masters. The millennia of Jedi teachings lives in you now. Don't get involved, Van. You have the bigger mission. Find the child. To defend and protect. You taught me that. We were really impressed by the quality of this film. From the cinematography to the props and costumes, this had a high level of polish. We found the story easy to follow, however we wish it didn't end so abruptly. Once again, we felt the story may have fit a slightly longer runtime better. Overall though, it was very clear to us how much work was involved in bringing the film together. And the high level of visual polish and filmmaking is what landed this film at our number one spot for live action. Station, this is VIP passenger shuttle RO0925 requesting permission to dock. Passenger shuttle RO0925, please transmit clearance codes. Transmitting. 0925, permission granted. Please land at Hangar Bay 3. Unidentified Corvette. Please transmit transponder codes. Unidentified Corvette. You are approaching a restricted flight path. Transmit transponder codes. Once again, we were just blown away by some of the visuals in this film. Some of the shots look like they could have been done by ILM. However, there were unfortunately one or two shots that brought the quality down for us. We appreciate the narrative elements weaved throughout making it more than just a space battle, though we all agreed that the visual and technical side of it was where the film shined the most.
pacing in this film was great and we were engaged the whole way through. The moment earlier in the film where Starkiller pulls an X-Wing out of the sky was really well done, and we loved the tension built up throughout the short. However, the happy nod between the two rebels took us out of the moment for a second. But overall, we were really impressed by the quality of this film and loved seeing Starkiller back on screen. This was the standout film for us. Every element in the film was used so effectively and carefully from the cinematography to the music and sound. The little details such as the rain dripping off the rebel's helmet or the light slowly fading from Vader's face as clouds cover the moonlight really brought the film to life. The facial animation was super well done and the environment looked stunning. Some of the only issues we could have found with the film were that a few of Vader's animations and poses felt a little unnatural, mainly in the shoulder placement. We also wish the lightsaber was a little more emissive as the core ended up looking orange in some shots rather than white. But overall, we really love the emotion felt throughout this short and the high level of polish and detail that went into every shot is what landed this film at our number one spot for animation. And finally, for our Audience Choice Award, we once again have Fallen Angel taking the number one spot, followed closely by Memory and Against All Odds for second and third. All the films are available to watch in full on CinematicCaptures.com, and we'd love to see the community come together and support every filmmaker that entered. We hope this competition has given some of you a good starting point to begin learning and developing your skills, and we hope you will continue to put in the same passion and dedication going forwards. 
A big thank you to everyone involved in making this competition possible, and a huge congratulations again to everyone who submitted a film. We really loved watching all of them.